Welcome to part two of LibreOffice Calc Gantt Chart Project. In this video, I'll finally create the actual chart. First, I need to introduce another new function, a relative of the Workday International function, and this is the NetWorkdays International function. You'll recall that Workday's international function returns the date after a specified number of workdays. The net workdays international will give you the number of workdays between a start date and end date. Here in E3, I'll demonstrate it. Type equals net workdays dot INTL. Press Enter. The first parameter is the start date. I'll click B8, comma. Then the next parameter is the end date. I'll click D8, comma. Next is number or string. Like the Network Days International, this is the code for weekends. I'll give it a 1 for Saturday and Sunday, comma. Finally, the array, the holiday table. Select A2 to A5. Press Enter, and it gives us five days, like I have here for the days in C8. I'm not going to use it to find the number of days, though. I'm going to use it to tell me if a date in the chart is a workday or non-workday, like a holiday or weekend. If you give it the same date for the start date and end date, it will return a 0 if it's a holiday and a 1 if it's a workday. I'll double-click E3, select the first parameter, and click E7. Now I'll select the end date and click E7 again. Then press Enter. I get a 1 because it's a work day. Now I'll double click E3 and select the start date and click G7. Then I'll select the end date and click G7 again. Now press Enter and I get a zero. Six three is a holiday, so it returns zero. There are zero workdays between six three and six three. Now I can type the formula for the chart. In E8, type equals. First, I'm going to use the if function with the and function to test if there's a number in C8 and the date for the cell is more than or equal to the start date in B8 and less than the end date in D8. Type if, press enter. Type and, press enter. Click cell E7. The formula will be copied down the cells, so I need to lock the row. Press Shift F4 two times, then type greater than or equal, click B8. Here I need to lock the column so that when I copy the formula to the right, it doesn't move. So press Shift F4 three times. Type a comma. Click E7 again and press Shift F4 two times to lock the rows. Then type less than or equal to. Click D8. Need to lock the column. Press Shift F4 three times. Type a comma. Type is number. Press Enter. Click C8 and lock the column. Press Shift F4 three times. 
So far, I've got if date is greater than the start date and the date is less than the end date and there's a number in column C, execute the next parameter. Click after the AND function parentheses. That's after two end parentheses. Type a comma to get to the then value of the IF function. Now here I'm going to be using another IF function. If the date is a workday, I want it to put a W in the cell. If not, I want an H in the cell. So type IF, press ENTER. To determine if it's a workday or a non-workday, I will use the NetWorkDays International function. Type NetWorkDays dot I-N-T-L. Press ENTER. First parameter is the start date. Click E7, then press SHIFT F4 twice to lock the row. Comma. Next parameter is the end date. I'm using the same date. Click E7, press SHIFT F4 twice to lock it. Comma. Now for the weekend. Same as the Workday International. Type a 1 for Saturday and Sunday. Comma. Next, the array for the holidays. Select A2 to A5. Press Shift F4 once to lock both the column and rows. The formula is going down and to the right. Now click after the Network Days International parentheses. Type a comma. Then quote W end quote. Comma quote H end quote. So, if it's a workday, a W is displayed. If it's a non-workday, an H is displayed. Click after the IF function parentheses. Type a comma. Then quote, unquote. If there's no number in C8 and the date is not equal or greater than the start date or less than or equal to the end date, don't put anything into the cell. Press Enter. What a long formula. Now click back in cell E8 and drag the fill handle down to E17. Then drag it to the end of the dates. Now keep the cell selected for the next step. I'll move it back here. And you can see it works from the start date to the end date on our first project. There are W's except for the holidays and weekends. There are five working days. Now the final step, turning this into a chart. I'm going to be using conditional formatting to do this. All the cells in the start should still be selected. If not, you'll have to drag and highlight them again. Press the Conditional Formatting button on the toolbar. For the first condition, cell value is equal to, type a double quote, W, then end quote. In the Apply Style drop-down, choose New Style. I'm going to make the workdays green. Type green for the name. Then, in the Font Effects tab, choose Light Green for the font color. Click the Borders tab under Line Arrangement. Choose Set Top and Bottom Borders Only, the fourth button. Click the Background tab and choose Light Green. This will make the text invisible. Click OK. 
Now, click the Add button. I'll make the holidays and weekends blue. For cell value is equal to, type double quote, H, end quote. In the Apply Style drop-down, choose New Style. Type blue for the name. Then in the Font Effect, choose Light Blue for the font color. Click the Borders tab. Under Line Arrangement, choose Set Top and Bottom Borders Only. Click the Background tab and choose Light Blue for the background. Click OK. Click OK in the Conditional Formatting dialog. And there you are, a Gantt chart. The workdays are green, holidays and weekends are blue. When you add a project to the chart, it will immediately create a new bar. I'll type Project 3, Tab, Start Date 6-3, 15 days, press Enter, and there it is. There are many variations that can be done. I'll be exploring some of these in future videos. Well, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.